My name is Matt Spoke. I'm the CEO and founder of the Aon Foundation. The Aon Foundation is a nonprofit open source software organization that builds blockchain technology for public networks. Blockchain technology is a new system being developed to help people transact peer to peer without relying on centralized intermediaries and a data structure that allows you to control and own your own data so you have less dependency on companies like Google and Facebook and others. Blockchain technology has a lot of potential to change the world. We don't exactly know where and how it's going to be applied, but some of the applications that are being discussed are pretty interesting. First, we talk often about access to financial services. People growing up in the developed world don't necessarily see or feel this pain, but many places in the world, banking infrastructure just simply doesn't exist. People don't have access to online payments, they don't have credit cards, they don't have bank accounts, and that leads to massive secondary consequences of not being able to get loans from a bank. So when we look at blockchains as a system of financial inclusion, we think about how to create new digital payment mechanisms, new loan systems, new ways to get capital into the hands of disconnected remote populations. Second, data ownership and control over data is a big topic these days. In the future, we see blockchain systems providing a mechanism for individuals to own and control their own data, and potentially to monetize that data for their own benefit rather than for the benefit of one of these large internet companies. Today, the general model is that these companies will collect data about you and sell that data to advertisers so that they can push products to you. In the future, we see a system where you can control your own identity, manage your own interactions online, and if there's an opportunity to monetize it, then you would be the recipient and beneficiary of that monetization. A third way I think blockchains might have a huge impact on the world is around censorship and freedom of speech. Increasingly today, you hear examples of governments and companies shutting down or censoring people who they disagree with. In some cases, it's with good intention, but in other cases, it's to block people from protesting. It's to block people from standing up against an authoritarian regime. And the internet is built to provide that control to those centralized companies and those centralized governments. So in theory, they could shut down access to a server, shut down a website within a particular country, and make it difficult or in some cases impossible for people to share their ideas. We think blockchains are going to be a completely new architecture to take that control out of the hands of governments so that people could actually share their thoughts freely online. As with a lot of new technologies, we can't predict where blockchains are going to go and where they're going to be used. But over the course of the next 10 or 20 years, we see a lot of new applications coming into our lives that we wouldn't have predicted. But this time around, we think we actually have a chance to go back and fix a lot of the problems that were created by the internet and open up a whole new set of possibilities for what businesses and applications are going to look like in the future.